Hello. Good evening. Jessica, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Hi, how are you? You good? Good. Very good. Excellent. Let me... Let me change this here. Okay. Now this is the one. So good evening, everybody, to the ones that are joining right now. Good evening. Good evening, Cynthia. Good evening, Jimena. Good evening, good evening Stephanie. Good evening, teacher. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, Karina. Katherine, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Jorge, good evening. Perez, I in class. Good evening, everyone. Everyone. Good evening. Good evening, Ronald. Good evening. Sí. Carolina. Let's see. How are you today? Fine. 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 And you? I'm good. Very good. How was your day? Was busy. Very busy? Really busy. Yes. Okay. Really? Lots Why? Of things to do. I went to how do you say tramites? Uh, the like diligences? Mm -hmm. I went to do diligence. Okay. And then I went to my job. So I was really busy. Yeah. But everything, okay. But it's Thursday. So we're almost finishing the week. Yes. <laughs> almost. Yeah, almost. <laughs> what about you, Jorge? How was your day? Eh, pues, más o menos. Really? So so. So so. so, so. Why? It's a uh, um uh, very hard today at the work. Okay. Uh, now uh, don't have don't have a container. We. Uh, Wait. We wait uh, now and don't have maybe oh. tomorrow. Okay. You say you work in the purchasing department, right? Yes. Okay. So you are waiting for a, for a container to. Está esperando un container. contenedor que, que... Sí. Okay. Yeah, I think that might be complicated. Debe ser complicado. Yeah, bueno, son dos. Oh. So more complicated. Than <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. But still, it's Friday. It, it's Thursday. No, today is not Thursday. Today is Wednesday, right? Oh my Tomorrow God. I, oh, Thursday. Oh my God. Thursday. I thought it was Thursday. I thought it was Thursday. Oh my God. <laughs> I was excited that tomorrow will be Friday. You but... have been you have been feeling long. The yes. <laughs> the whole day I was like, tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. But no. It's Thursday tomorrow. So, well, yes. it's Wednesday, so we're in the middle there. Yeah, so, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you, Oscar? How are you? Pretty good, teacher. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to meet with you. Uh, basically, today is I was I was busy in the morning because the traffic in San Salvador is, is a stress. I know. Yeah, I know. It's always a mess. The traffic there, it's always a mess. Yeah. And the, the weather has been 
hot. Yeah, today. today has been hot. Yeah, that's true. I mean, this yeah. uh, this week, I mean, from uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it was fresh. It was windy, cold, but yes. today was hot. It's crazy the weather. I know, definitely it is. <laughs> And and actually in the afternoon I saw like if they if it was about to rain, it was like cloudy, okay. como nublado, and I was like, okay, it's gonna rain. Right and now. do you feel the earthquake? The the earthquake, yes. The earthquake. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> around yes. around 1 p.m. Yes. Yeah, kind of. I was having lunch. <laughs> really? <laughs> are you are you are you scared of earthquakes? I phobia. How do you say phobia? Yeah, phobia, the same. I feel phobia with earthquakes. Really? Yes. So you start and running when there's I an earthquake? I paralyze. Oh, you paralyze? Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> teacher, teacher yeah. in, my, in my case, I, I walk. In this moment, I You're walk taking uh, a, I'm taking a nap. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. No, it's, it's it. I, I was like sitting there, like, because I was on my lunch as well, I think. Um, okay. and then I start like something was moving, but I live here, like exactly next to the, to this, uh, street. How is it called? Uh, La Monseñor Romero. Okay. So I live next to, to La Monseñor Romero. So sometimes it feels like a vibration there in the, in the second floor oh my because God. of the, of the, of the trucks, uh, containers or whatever pass there in the, in the street. So it feels like a little uh, uh, like vibration. So I thought it was that, but then it started moving like a little more, and I was like, okay, oh, no, oh. this is not a, a truck. This is an earthquake, and oh, yeah, it, it was it was an earthquake. So yeah, but when was... when I don't feel earthquakes, mm -hmm. I feel grateful with God. <laughs> when the people just tell you, hey, do you feel it? Yes, and I, I don't no. feel it. Uh, yes. <laughs> then you're good. <laughs> I know. All right. So let's start then. Good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you one more time to being here to start this class. Again, thank you for the ones that are joining right now. I see here Nelson, Kenny, uh, Perla, Darling, Relson, Daniela, Ronald. Jimena, Jessica, Karina, Catherine, Eduardo, Ever, and Carolina. So welcome. Welcome. Ah, Fernando as well. I'm sorry. So welcome to the class. And did you practice the alphabet? Practicaron el alfabeto? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes I do. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Oscar, can you give me a letter? Any letter? B. B? Okay, no, let's see. P. Uh, P. P. P like yeah. Peter. P like Peter. Okay, okay, so Perla. <laughs> Perla, how do you spell? Oh, first of all, what's your last name, Perla? My last name is Rivas. Okay, how do you spell your last name? R I V A S. So B or V? V. Like V, B, like this or V? Like V. Like V. V. Okay, very good. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Now, Perla, give me a letter. Um, um... M. M. Okay, Marta. <laughs> Hi, Marta. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I'm getting late. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Uh, Marta, what is your last name? My last name is Rivera. Okay, how do you spell your last name? R I V. Good. E R A. Excellent. Very good. Give me a letter. Thank you. A letter. Uh -huh. um, H. H. Let's see. H. H. Uh, H. 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 We don't have anyone with H. 
No one. No, but we have a Cynthia that has an H in the name. So, <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> Cynthia. My yeah. name is complicated. Yeah, like mine. Mine <laughs> is complicated. You are <laughs> so bad with me. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> All right, Cynthia. Uh, what is your middle name? Middle name? My first last name. No, no, or my second name. Uh huh. Veronica. Okay. How? Oh, that's complicated too. So, <laughs> how do you spell your middle name? Um, v. Uh huh. B I or V. V. Okay. I. A I. I. <laughs> go ahead R again. No, go o go ahead. Okay. V I R O I. I V E E uh-huh V sorry <laughs> V E R O N I C A Very good. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me another letter. S S Let's see else else S We had some with S No, no. we don't, right? Another. Mm, let's see. Uh, K S. Before S is a K, right? Antes de la S es la K, verdad? Yeah. Okay. S Kenny. K okay. <laughs> S K L. <laughs> All right. So Cynthia asked the question that I was making. Haga la pregunta que yo estaba haciendo to Kenny. Um. Can you, uh, you can ask either middle name or last name or first name, whatever. My middle name is complicated. <laughs> what is, which is your middle name? Good. <laughs> <laughs> My middle name is Jaritza. How do you spell it? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, please. Why? A R I T H A. Like Maritza. this? Look at the chat. Maritza. It's like that. Yaritza. She said Maritza. Yaritza. No. Yaritza. 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 It's complicated. So it's like this? Yaritza? Like that? Uh, H. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's see. E H. Z-A. Like that. Discussion. Oh, okay. Very good. That's yeah. interesting. It's more complicated than Veronica. Yeah, and Trisha <laughs> too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. The last one. Uh, Kenny, give me a letter. M. Another one. We have an M already. A. Okay, Arely. So, uh, can he make the question to Arely? Uh, teacher. Hi. Excuse me. Um, I will listen to the class, but I will not participate. Okay. And because we have no left work today, I have second shift. Okay. And it comes difficult. When I review, it's more calming. Okay, very good. Oh, sure. Excuse me. No <laughs> worries. No worries. Thank you, Arely. Okay. All right, so let's do, let me see. I'm gonna choose one person here. Let's go with uh, Nelson. So make the questions to Nelson. Okay. Hello. 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 Eh, Kenny, Hello. le va a hacer una ah, okay. Okay. Uh, what's your last name? Last name is Antonio. What's your last name? Antonio. No, last name. El apellido. Um, uh, uh, last name is Chávez. Okay. How do you spell? How how do you spell? Chavez. 
Is director, perdón, perdón. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. Yes. Is C H mm. Ah, C H. Y si no me equivoco. Ya, y ajá. Y then V V ajá. Y Z. Very good. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you, Nelson. Very good. Great. So you have been practicing the, the alphabet, so that's good. Great job. So let's go now with the, with the class. Let me uh, share here with you the class. Just give me one second here. And... There you go. So today we're gonna to start with a topic that it's very easy. And I think that some of you, you have heard about this. Maybe some of you, you haven't heard about this, but if you have heard about it, si ya ha escuchado de este tema, o ya lo ha aprendido, we're gonna make a review. Vamos a hacer un repaso. Si nunca lo he escuchado, y es la primera vez que lo ve, then, you're going to learn it today. Ahora lo va a aprender. And this is the famous and the most sounded topic in las clases de inglés, the verb be. So today we're going to see the verb be uh, as our class. I'm going to explain, I'm sorry. I'm going to explain to you uh, how do you use it? Como se usa? What do you use it for? Para que lo usa? in the structure that we need to make sentences using the verb be, okay? So first of all, before we start, el verb be, o el verbo to be, do you know what it is? ¿Saben qué es el verbo to be o qué significa? Ser o estar. Exactly, that's what it means. Be, 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 be significa ser o estar. So that means que usted va a utilizar the verb be when eh, habla acerca de quién es o dónde está. So you can say, for example, eh, if, we say, if we make an example in Spanish, eh, yo estoy en mi casa. Another one, yo estoy en la cocina. Para ser Sería yo soy un profesor. Yo soy eh, un. Um, I don't know. Yo soy un trabajador. So it's to say what you are. Lo que usted es o dónde está. ¿Se entiende hasta ahí? So far? Yes. 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 Okay. I got it. Very good. Remember, si tienen preguntas, si no le entendieron, si no quedó muy claro, let me know. Díganme. No se queden ahí con la duda, please. So, for the verb be, para el verbo to be, or the, verb, el, the verb be, we have three verbs that we are going to use. Vamos a utilizar tres verbos para hacer la estructura o, o para hablar acerca de yo soy, yo estoy. Y tenemos tres. It's am, is, and are. So, los tres, esos tres verbos means the same. Significan lo mismo. Ser o estar. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? It's el sujeto con el que lo van a usar. The subject that you're going to use it with. And we have here the example. Uh, you're going to use am only and just only with I. Am solo lo van a utilizar with I. No other, just I. I am, I am, and I am. Luego está is. Is, you use it for he, she, or it. Okay? He, she, or it is, va a ser siempre 
el verbo to be para esos tres pronombres. En este caso, puede ser he, she, it, o puede ser el nombre de una persona, o el nombre de una cosa, de un objeto, de un animal. Entonces se va a utilizar es. Y por último, tenemos we, you, and they, with are. ¿Ok? Y para hacerlo como un poco más sencillo, más simple, I definitivamente solo con am. Ahí no va a cambiar. Luego, is siempre va a ser para singular. So, one person. ¿Ok? Va a ser solo para una persona. Él, ella o algo. Y are lo utilizamos para plural. Siempre que estemos hablando de algo plural, we're going to use are. Puede ser we, you, and they. O puede ser un grupo de personas. Puede ser, una, por ejemplo, un, un, un grupo de estudiantes. Si son plural, el, el sujeto está en plural, we use are. ¿Ok? Questions so far? Teacher, teacher. Yes. Dígame. Entonces, mmm, dice que is es uh -huh. para sujeto, para cosas. Is se utiliza para, para, para él, ella o algún objeto. Ah, ya. Yeah. Son para los tres. Ah. Bueno, gracias. You're welcome. Yes. Gracias, gracias. Sure. Okay, so that's how we use the verb be. Remember, I solo para am, singular is, y para plural we use are. Let's see some examples here. So we get here, for example, the first question, what's your name? My name is Mary Bernard. So aquí estamos utilizando el verb be. Mi nombre es Mary Bernard. How old are you? I am or oh, am 22. Where are you from? I am or oh, am from friends, from friends. And how are you? I am fine, thanks. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, here, esto lo vamos a ver igual después, pero just for you to know and as a heads up. Eh, cuando se les pregunta la, eh, la fecha, perdón, la edad, eh, do you answer I am? No, I have. Eh, no sé si se, en, en español nosotros decimos te, yo tengo tantos años. But in English, we say yo soy tantos años. I am 22 years old. Yo soy 22 años viejo. O I am 29 years old. Yo soy 29 años viejo. Okay. So, let's do some examples here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Oscar, can you give me an example using the verb be? Example, you say... She is beautiful. Very good. She is beautiful. beautiful. Excellent. Thank you. Kenny, can you give me an example con uh, they? They. Hey. They. Mm -hmm. They are athletics. Very good. They are athletics. Very good, excellent. Uh, Nelson, give me an example with he. He, he, is the color black. Okay, he is black. He is black. Okay, very good. Uh, Jorge, give me an example with uh, we. We. We are in the class right now. Excellent. We are in the class right now. Marta, give me an example with you. 
you. You are a very student group in the English class. Okay. Very good. Excellent. And the last one, uh, Cynthia, give me an example with I. I think you're on mute. Sorry. <laughs> I am studying English right now. Okay, yes, that's correct. Very good. So, así es exactamente es como utilizamos el verbo to be, siempre para demostrar o para decir eh, yo soy o yo estoy. So, let's gonna see some examples here. Let's do this exercise right now. We have eight sentences. Tenemos ocho oraciones here where you are going to use the verb be. Okay? So, if you want to do it, if Tal vez no las copien todas, sino que solamente si le van a escribir, escriban solamente la respuesta. Y para que no se tarden tanto escribiendo los, todo el ejercicio, eh, just write the answer. You say number one, tal la respuesta. Number two, this is the answer. And I'm going to give you three minutes so you can complete it. Okay? So let's go. I'm sorry, here it is. So the last two, the seven and eight, you will have to make your own sentences. You can use uh, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, because it's your example. Still have one minute. Porque como por ahorita sé, yo no no All right. So let's start with number one. Uh, Franklin, can you do number one? Franklin, you there? Hello, teacher. Yes, hello. Uh, he is the teacher. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Good. Uh, Ronald, number two. Ronald? OK. 
Okay, I think he's not there. Hey, Daniela, you there? Uh, I am from London. Very good. Excellent. Kenny, number three. They are students. Good. Nelson, number four. They are late. They are? They are late. Very good. Excellent. Jorge, number five. Uh, okay, uh, number five, I am from Japan. Excellent. Uh, Perla, number six. He is here on holiday. Very good. Fernando, number seven. Your one. Example, un ejemplo. Yes, your own ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Su propio ejemplo. Mm -hmm. She is. No, I am. I am Nepli. I am. Nepli. Nephew. Sí. Okay, I am a nephew. Sí. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, Oscar, your own example. We are smart. Excellent. Great. Darling, your own example. Darling? Um... I think you're on mute. Okay, we're gonna get back with you. Kenny, your own example. Um, I am in my house. Very good. Darling, your example now. Do you have the example, darling? Okay, uh, let's see, Marta. Mm, I am in my bedroom taking uh, the class. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> and Cynthia. Um, she's taking care of her mom. Okay. That's good. Very good. Excellent. So, any questions so far? The fair B. Yes? No? Preguntas hasta el momento? No. Very good. So, we have here a couple of sentences. I want you to tell me, and you can find the mistakes on each of them. So, let's do one and one. We have the first one. Do we have a volunteer to read number one? TV from Ingle. Say it again. Say it again, Daniela. I think Daniela was. Yeah. Huh? Wait, okay. He be from England? He be from England. Okay. Is that correct? No. No. Okay. What's no. the correct form? He's. He's. Uh -huh. Say the sentence, the complete sentence. He's be from England. He is B from, from England? Is, is that correct? He is B from England? No. Okay. What's the correct form? He's from England. Excellent. Very good. He's from England. Very good. 
What about number two? And they they at the hotel. Okay. Is that correct? Está correcto? Mm, they are the, yes. Solo les falta una cosita aquí. Are. They are. They're, they they're are. Apostrophe. Exactly, apostrophe. Um, That's all what's missing. But it's correct. They are or they are at the hotel. They are at the hotel. Mm -hmm. Very good. They are at the hotel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Number three. Is it correct? Yes, it's correct. Yes. Yes, it is correct. Yes, we are. Well, yes, we are. Number four. Is it correct? No. 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 Uh, it should be, I think. Uh huh. No, we're not. Or not. Okay, no, we are not, or? No, we are. We are. No, 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 we exactly, no, we aren't. Number five. Is it correct? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. 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 And the order, is it correct? Um, no, teacher, the order is incorrect. Okay, what's the correct order? How oh. are you? How are you? Uh huh. I'm 23. Excellent. That's correct. So, how old are you? I'm 23. And the next one, number six. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Like, is it correct? Yes. No. 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 no, it should I'm, be, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. Excellent. I'm fine. Excellent, that's correct. I'm fine or I am fine. Thanks. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. The fine is incorrect? Number five. No. Yes. What is incorrect is the order. Mm. El orden está incorrecto. Ah, okay. Because you start with the question, how old are you? And then you answer, I'm 23 years old. Okay, mm -hmm. and? Sure. Then number seven. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Uh, uh, I think the five uh, could be correct. Because yes. I, 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 first, I first can say my age, and then I can ask your age. Uh huh. Yes, so that's correct. Could be, could be could be correct. It could be correct. So mm -hmm. okay. it depends on how you see it. If you're giving an exactly. answer and then continue a question, or if you're making the question and providing the answer. So that's correct. So, exactly. Then uh, what the what's the correct answer? It could be both. The both sentences are correct. Exactly. 23, exactly. how old are you, are correct. So it will depend on the exactly. orders you place. Exactly. Thank you. Sure. Now, number seven. Is it correct? If they're missing something? The song that you heard with the, with the, with the, with the, with the grandma. Uh, no. We have the subject here, the teacher. The, the personal pronoun. Uh, no, because we have the teacher here. No tenemos al teacher aquí. No necesitamos personal pronoun. Sería una pregunta. Okay. It is a question. Okay. So what's missing? ¿Qué le falta a esa pregunta? El signo de interrogación. Uh -huh. And what else? Question mark. A question mark? He or she. He or she. 
whatever. Is the teacher. Is he the teacher or exactly. is she the teacher? That's correct. Is mm -hmm. he the teacher or is she the teacher? Mm -hmm. And the question mark. Yes. That's correct. Very good. Excellent. That's good. So we're going to make a, a practice here. Uh, we're going to use the, the, the verb be in order to answer this question and to make a conversation with this. Okay. So you're going to ask, what's your name? What's your nickname? What's your nationality? How old are you? What do you do for a living? And what's your email address? Okay. Eh, vamos a hacer estas preguntas. Vamos a hacer eh, eh, couples or groups right now. And you're going to ask these questions to your partners. Remember de que las respuestas tienen que ser usando the verb be. So you're going to say, for example, what's your name? Then I am and your name. What's your nickname? Eh, nickname is eh, como podríamos decir apodo o la forma en que le gusta que le digan. For example, my nickname could be Chris. Instead of Christian, you say Chris. What's your nationality? De donde es? ¿Cuál es su nacionalidad? I am from El Salvador. Oh, I am Salvadorian. How old are you? I am. ¿Y cuántos años tiene? What do you do for a living? ¿Qué hace? No para vivir, pero ¿a qué se dedica? I am an engineer. I am a manager. I am a salesperson. I am a receptionist. I am a secretary. I am a supervisor. And what's your email address? My, yes? Uh, how do you say uh, auditor interno? Should be internal auditor. <coughs> okay, okay. But let me let me look for it and I give it yeah, to you right now. Just let me look for it here. Yes, internal auditor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure. Okay. So uh, you can copy the questions there, or you can take a picture, or you can do an screen capture. Le pueden tomar captura, le pueden tomar una foto. So you have it for your conversations, okay? So I'm sorry. Let me put it here again. I'm sorry. Teacher. Yes. A what name? Nickname es como apodo o como la, la forma corta de decir su nombre. Por ejemplo, my name, my name is Christian. My nickname, Chris. it could be Chris. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you. Thank en su, you. En su caso puede ser Carolina. Su nickname puede ser Caro. Carito. O Carito, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> sure. Okay, so you ready? Yes. Okay. So let's make the groups here then. And let me create the groups. Okay. So join to the meeting. Únanse a la meeting ahí. Dale and join para que se puedan integrar a los grupos. Then and join.
Catherine pudo ingresar al, al grupo. My nickname is, well, my family tell me Titi, Tinti, Cintita, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's your na nationality? Nationality. Nationality? I'm from El Salvador. I'm Salvadorian. Mm -hmm. How how old are how old are how old are you? How old are you? Mm -hmm. I'm 27 years old. 27? Yes. What do you do for a living? I work. I am a receptionist. Very good. Where? Cervantes. Um, Libreria Cervantes. Oficinas. Offices? Offices, yes. What's your email address? My email address is Cinti V R A at Gmail dot com. Very good. Something like that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> With nickname. Excuse me. Cinti. Mm, your nickname. Cinti. Titi, Cintita, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My family told me like that, tell me like that, but Titi could be. <laughs> okay. It could be Titi. <laughs> That's good. Great job. Keep practicing. Okay. Uh, what's your name? I am Kenny. I work. Hello. 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 Uh, I am work. Uh -huh. work. I I work. I work. Mm -hmm. I work or I am work. No, I work. But I you're. Work. Eh, ¿Cuál pregunta está contestando? Uh, What do you do for a living? Ah, okay. Uh, in that one, you can say also para usar el verbo to be. Puede decir I am. Y luego, eh, ¿a qué se dedica? Okay. Por ejemplo, I am a teacher. I am a receptionist. Ah, entonces sería, I am a salesperson. A salesperson. Salesperson. Mm -hmm. okay, Arely, haga, haga, haga la pregunta de nuevo. Okay. What do you do for a living? Mm -hmm. I, I am a salesperson. Very good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Sure. What's your email address? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Este que sería, perdón, no. Es el correo electrónico. Oh, no es dirección. No. <laughs> okay. Es el email address, es el correo electrónico, o la dirección de correo electrónico. Sí. Mm -hmm. Eh, se puede inventar una, no es necesario decir el real. Se puede inventar bueno, una. En este caso podría ser I'm email gray. No, ahí sería my. My. Ajá, a, a, utilizando los, los posesivos, uh, los adjetivos posesivos que vimos ayer. Ah, my, my, ajá, my email address is. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. My email address. My email address is nelsoncheves.com. Ok. Eh, unas cosas, cuando se, por ejemplo, para arroba, decimos okay. at. 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 Ajá. 
Entonces, Nelson Chávez, at. Como una aplicación. At. 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 Ajá. At. at Gmail.com. 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 Ah, gmail sí. Okay. No sé si la puedo preguntar a mi compañero. Yep. Ok. Eh, para Lee. Uh -huh. What's your email address? My email address is um, Arely at email.com. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Keep practicing. Okay. Okay. Arely. Sí. Uh, le, le... Where... O, o se pueden decir de, en qué calle vives o de qué calle eres. Uh, what, what streets in this area are you from? Depende. O sea, hay que practicar, hay que practicar. Y si, y hay, si no hacen las prácticas, pues no, no van a registrar ningún avance, obviamente. Pero esa es la sí. única forma, practicar y practicar. Definitivamente. Perfecto. Sí, uh -huh. creo que bastante o sea, complicado, más que todo, por el aspecto de que bastante el tiempo para aprenderse bien esta. ¿Cómo es? Que los verbos, ah. ¿Cómo deben ir ubicados? Porque creo que es un poco. No, no es complicado. Y lo otro es que no hay que tener pena. Acá todos estamos aprendiendo. Así que Eso es correcto. Ar arránquense, díganlo como puedan y pues si alguien les puede ayudar y hay que corregirlo, pues. Sí. Igual, hay que, acept, hay que aceptar la corrección con el deseo de aprender, ¿verdad? No, no, no se sientan que alguien nos quiera hacer sentir menos. Solo es aprender todos. Exactamente. ¿Qué otra el sí. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Ok. So, ¿Quién comienza? Yo le voy a preguntar a ella. Ah, <risa> dele. Pues, what's your name? What? What's your name? What's uh -huh. your name? Good. My name is Jessica. What, what you, how old are you, Jessica? Perdón. How old are you, Jessica? How old are you? How old are you? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuántos Sorry. años tiene? 27, ¿cómo lo puedo decir? <laughs> It's 27. 27, ajá. Uh -huh. 27. Entonces, para decir toda la oración, ayuda. I am. I am. 27. 27. Years old. Years or years? No. Years. Years. Old. Old. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahora diga toda la oración completa. I am. I am. 27. 27. 27. 27. Years. Years. Old. Old. Very good. Ahora dígala toda completa. I am. Mm -hmm. 27. Uh -huh. e is. No. No. <laughs> years. Years. Mm -hmm. Old. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> sí, está bien, muy bien. ¿Quién sigue? Le hago la siguiente pregunta o que me pregunte. Sí, cualquiera puede preguntar. What's your name? Good. Ayan Eduardo. No, ¿cómo ahí sería mi nombre? Sí, My name sí. is Eduardo, sería. My name is Eduardo o I am Eduardo. Las dos están válidas. Sí. Ah, ok. So, good job. Sigan practicando, sigan haciéndose las preguntas. Y como dijo Relson, that's it. Practice es todo. Así que, let's practice. Ok. okay. Sí, gracias. Ay, gracias. perdone que no puedo poner la cámara porque no, no me agarra aquí la camarita ahorita. No worries, no se preocupe. Mientras lo escuche gracias. hablar, estamos bien. Ah, oh, bye. <ríe>
I am from Salvadorian. Okay. I am how, Salvadorian. Mm -hmm. How are you? I am 31. Years so, old. So years old. Yeah, yeah. Years old. Okay. Uh -huh. Dígalo de nuevo. I am. I, I am 31. Uh -huh. Years old. Years old. Old. Uh -huh. Ahora dígalo completa la oración. I am 31 years old. Years old. Very good. Muy bien. Uh, what do you do for a living? I am sales person. I am a sales person. Excellent. That's correct. Very good. What's your email address? My email, my email, Beatrice Q. Cortez, arroba, hotmail .com. Very good. Solo hay un par de, de detalles para que tengan en mente para future references. Arroba, decimos at. Y el punto, decimos dat. So, sería Beatriz. ¿Qué dijo? Beatriz. Q. Ok, Beatriz Q. Ajá, Cortez. Cortez. At. At. Gmail.com. Gmail, hotmail, uh, dot hotmail? Con. Uh -huh. dot con. Uh, dot com. Uh -huh. No, así en inglés el punto, Carolina, se dice dot. Uh -huh. mm. Ah, eso no lo sabía. Ajá, si quieres. Eso en el ahí. correo o siempre. Eh, no, dot, no. dot lo utilizamos más para el correo electrónico. Ya si, por ejemplo, en matemáticas, we use point. Eh, pero sí, en el, en el correo siempre se va a hacer that. Um, ¿Mm? Very good. Good job. You, um, thank you. Vamos a regresar ahorita porque ya we, uh, llegamos a las 10. So, let's go back to the main room. Gracias al compañero que me estaba ahí ayudando. Estamos al, ahí estamos a la orden. Sí, no. Gracias, Oscar is good. Oscar is good. <laughs> All right, so it's 10 o'clock already. So thank you very much again uh, to join this meeting, this class. And before we finished, do you have any question, Perla? I have a question. Yes. How do me. you say arroba? Arroba. Good. Se dice at. That's not okay, at sing. At? At sign. At sing? At sign. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí, at sign. Uh -huh. Pero That's cuando. Uh -huh. Cuando ya lo utilizan en el correo, so ya solamente dicen at. Por ejemplo, eh, my, uh, my email address is uh, Christian uh, Saldana at gmail.com. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And. Uh, Mm, middle sink. Middle. 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 Middle cycle. Um, como el guión medio. Ah, guión medio. Es eh, hyphen. Ah, ok. Teacher, mm -hmm. how do you say eh, guión bajo? Eh, underscore. Underscore. Mm -hmm. A middle score. Mm. So you can say like Christian underscore Saldaña at first, uh, I'm sorry, at uh, gmail.com. Sure. Any other question? Yo no. solo la sugerencia, teacher, de que en el grupo de WhatsApp, ahí igual, como quieran, ahí. Siempre es bueno que pregunten y cualquiera que esté disponible, pues, o sea, que cualquiera de nosotros estemos ahí disponibles, podemos contestarle sin pena, pues. Solo digan, soy fulano o soy fulano. Sure, that's correct. Si tienen alguna pregunta, eh, pónganla ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp y, pues, cualquiera de nosotros vamos a, a help 
for any questions you have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. So, si no hay más preguntas, eh, thank you very much again for joining. Eh, we're going to see tomorrow. Have a good night. Take a good rest and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Bye. 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 Good night. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.